Okay, so this is my review of the Mobile Suit Gundam Deluxe Edition RX-93 New Gundam. Now this is the Deluxe, so it's 11 inches in height. Um, let's go ahead and take a little, do a 360 rotation and get a closer look at this guy. As you can see, the uh, bazooka mounts very nicely on, the, on his backpack there. Um, so that's pretty cool. And nice looking fin funnels. So uh, let's go ahead and just do a quick uh, size comparison. I've got with me the 1 144 model kit, uh, the Throne Dre. And as you can see, they make a pretty good uh, uh, comparison in terms of how, how high they are, how tall they are. All right. Um, so as you can see, it comes with a shield, um, his rifle, and the bazooka, and the fin funnel system. Um, as far as the... Uh, the fin funnels go. This uh, fin funnel on the end here detaches. It just uh, slots in there, and then you can uh, set it up like this to represent uh, how it looks on the box here, as you can see. So apparently, what these are, uh, this is uh, all new to me, as far as I could tell on, on uh, the Gundam Wiki. Uh, these are a both uh, offensive and defensive uh, system. They detach from the uh, the back pack of the mobile suit, and uh, for one one thing, they can form a uh, fin funnel barrier. Uh, you know, as these obviously this one this you know doesn't have the capability to deploy all of them because it's just a a model kit. But in the in the anime, uh, several of these would deploy from the back of the of the uh, Gundam and form a shield, uh, a fin funnel barrier. That apparently, according to Gundam Wiki, they, it will def deflect both uh, beam and solid uh, attacks. So uh, that's pretty cool. And uh, was kind of watching some some fight sequences between um, the uh, the new Gundam and the Sazabi. And apparently, these also have offensive capabilities as well, where they can go and intercept the uh, fin funnels from the Sazabi. So that's pretty cool. So, yep, just that one fin funnel comes off, and that's, uh, that's pretty much, that's it. Uh, let's take a closer look at the bazooka, which just pegs into here. Let's see. Really nice. I like, I like that a lot. Um, and then the, uh, the beam rifle. Now, one of the nice things about this is a uh, what I believe is the precursor to the actual mobile suit in action line. This is mobile suit Gundam, and uh, what I like about at least this particular uh, figure is that it only comes with two hands. I mean, yeah, it's nice to have extra hands sometimes, the the open palm or the closed fist, but I, I really you end up only using a few of those, and so it's it's nice to only have two. That way, that way, uh, you know, you know, you have, you have less parts to lose, basically. Uh, very nice shield. Pegs into onto his uh, left arm. And then, as far as the fin funnels, they uh, there's a peg right there where my finger is, and it just uh, you know, unpeg it like that. So you can see there's the, the peg for that. So um, this piece here, it it has some uh, some indentations, some some creases there, like it's like it could fold, but I, I don't think it's really meant to. So so there's that piece there. All right. So uh, articulation time. Uh, the head does 360, and it can go uh, pretty much up and down like that. Uh, shoulders 360, 
And then uh, on the upper arm here has the usual swivel, 360. Um, as I said before, these are the precursor to the mobile suit in action. These do not have double joints. So um, that's as far as you can go with the elbow. You can go back like that, but really that's as far as you can go there. Uh, waist articulation, very little, which is all right with me. I know that doesn't really bother me. It's got the, these nice uh, skirt armor. Well, let's take while we're looking at the at the backside here. Nice detailing in the thrusters. That's cool. All right, so uh, knee articulation. It's got some nice detailing with the, the piping there, but uh, that's pretty much all you're going to get. This is not a double joint, this is a single joint. And besides, it's, it's, ham it's hampered by the, uh, the skirt armor, as you can see there. All right. The ankle, forward like that, side to side. And there's no uh, actual articulation on the separating the heel from the, the rest of the foot. So. Uh, one of the other features of the uh, of the this kit is you can take off well this this piece it comes with this uh, piece here and uh, what I do, what it does is replace this this hilt I believe right here which the hilt that's got right now that it comes with in the box is just fine I like this one just uh, looks like I think it looks better but apparently what you can do is you there's a little hole here on the back of the backpack you can plug it in here and he can uh, like so like something like that um, yeah it's there but it's not that great because it's really loose and um, I, I don't really need to use this piece anyway so uh, what else um, yeah this is uh, this is one of my uh, I think my my, my new favorite uh, uh, action figure that I've got. Uh, just the, the the size of them, you know, being uh, in scale to the 1-144 uh, uh, throne dray. That's that's pretty cool. Uh, the ones I've reviewed before in the past, they've been uh, uh, somewhat smaller, so. And he's pretty heavy, so that's, that's really nice, too. Um, I, I like them so much that I don't know if I, I even feel a need to get the model kit and put it together, at least the 1-100 uh, kit, anyways. Um, so, okay, so this has been my review of the Mobile Suit Gundam Deluxe Edition, 11 inches, uh, the RX-93 new Gundam. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed. Bye.